Hey everybody, um, today we're in Autodesk Manage 2022 and we'll be looking at the Selection ins Inspector. Um, this tool, somebody asked about um, being able to select a, a variety of different things and then export it out as a CSV. Um, and it's easy to do with this tool within Navisworks, the Selection Inspector. So that's what I'll show you. It's pretty basic, so we won't spend too much time messing around with it. Um, to get to it, all you have to do is go to the Home tab and then select on um, this uh, icon here. And then your Selection uh, Inspector window will pop open. Um, and then from there, what you can do is select on Items. And here I'll select on something a little bit bigger and then you can see um, some of the properties there and that's what would be exported uh, as a CSV and you can see that over here um, export CSV you can also save the selection um, so it's a selection set that you could use later on if you need to review um, the items um, also if you want to update these properties all you have to do is go into the quick properties um, definitions you can get to it from here or if you go into the options menu and that's what this is the option uh, editor and then from here what you can do is remove and add uh, new properties and by adding them you just select on that and then down here you can switch the um, different uh, types and you can see there's not really any uh, information in any of these um, but you can go in here and, and kind of mess around with it and um, show what you need to in the um, in the properties. And then when you're ready, what you can do is export it um, or save it as a, a new selection. Um, also, and so I mean, just to select a whole bunch of stuff, I, I created a uh, a, a basic search set that will grab all the the layers that have 3d roof in it and then I do find all right here and then it'll show me everything in that selection and um, to the left we can remove items and um, this will actually just show us the items in in the uh, 3d space so if we click on this one you can see it zooms into it um, the reason why these are all gray is because this is a hierarchy of elements. Um, this is the layer, and if we scroll over here in the selection tree, you'll see here that 3D layer or the 3D roof layer is the top um, item in that in that list of items. And if we actually remove that from this list, you'll see that uh, some of these become um, stay gray, but some of them are now. Um, you know uh, white and if you hover over it, it's a group and then you can see within there the geometry in that group and again if you remove like the group then you'll have these items but anyways what you can do here is select and de deselect you know different things and then eventually save a selection if you needed to or export out a CSV um, I've seen people save selections to review later on uh, down the project at some point it's not a very common thing what I see uh, mostly that happens is people creating search sets that they could use um, because uh, with a search set it looks at specific properties so if you added a duct um, later on down the line then that would um, be included in that search set next time you opened up find items and, and, and search for that or um, if you wanted to use it in your selection sets, um, or sorry, in your clash test, you could use it. And every time you got new new NWCs, your uh, your uh, clash test would be updated with the latest elements. Selection set sets are always the same. It's whatever items you selected. That's what always are is going to be the selection set. You can update them, but um, it's all manual. But here you can export out CSV if you needed to, if you needed to, to view that information. Um, another cool way to do that is if you used uh, Dynamo, you could reach into it and export out those properties. Um, but this is a, a really simple way to just export out a bunch of properties, especially if you had a search set set up already, um, looking at you know specific elements like in this example, roofs. But anyways, that's what I've got. Um, hopefully this helps you if you're trying to export out a CSV or save a selection. 
Um, but let me know if there's any questions or any new ideas uh, for videos. Um, if you want the um, any content from previous videos, um, including like PowerPoints and, and recordings and stuff, uh, check out the OneDrive below. Um, if you go into that, you can download uh, the uh, get the content for the for the videos. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.